you go. God does not do miracles because he does miracles. Someone must take responsibility somewhere. For God to transform the family of Abraham, Abraham needed to do something. Not Sarah. Abraham needed to do something. And sometimes God gives you responsibility as a leader and expects you to do some things. There will be big changes next year, I believe, even in the office, around the those people around here. Things will be changing. Amen? Let us expect to turn around. Eh? Tell I never be ready for anything. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, having said so, let us look at the spirit of sanctification. Hallelujah. The spirit of what? Sanctification. So I'll, I'll teach so much, okay? I spend my time teaching. So you spend your time praying also. Are, are we clear? Wherever you are, you'll be praying and tarrying, and the Lord will help us all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So, remember, everyone will have opportunity to lead prayers next week. Are we clear? Everyone here. Amen. You are, everyone will get two prayers each, okay? Two prayers each. You'll go into one comes, the other one like that until you finish the 60 minutes, okay? Don't spend time reading too much of the scriptures. Is there a way we can display the prayers there so we don't waste our time reading the prayer? Hallelujah. Someone just can't say we are praying for our head. That's a prayer. Start praying. <laughs> don't, don't, don't mean too many stories. So the prayer can be intense and continuous. Intense and what? Continuous. Hallelujah. Now, now you know, Zion is coming and Things must work for everyone. We have labored the whole year, and it's the last week of the year we must close with God. And closing with God, we need some particular decisions. Amen? She needs what? Particular decisions to be made. Particular decisions to be made totally. Amen? Now, the spirit of sanctification. So what is sanctification? Uh, it is the setting apart of someone as holy. It's the setting apart of someone. That's what you'll be doing. I'll be setting you apart. Hallelujah. Through purification. Amen. Through what? To be dedicated unto God's service. Hallelujah. So we will be setting ourselves apart through purification to be dedicated unto God's service. Hallelujah. So, someone may ask me, do I become sanctified because I do it or how do I get sanctified? Who sanctifies me? The answer is simple. God, not yourself. Hallelujah. That's why next week you shall be laboring in prayer. I've come to, there's something came to me, I thought it's by works, like the Christ says. You, you like you wake up in the morning, you say, I will not do this thing. Let me just do it. Do you know why you do it? Because you are saying, I. If God does not do it for you, it becomes a problem. God is the one who sanctifies, not yourself. Hallelujah. All of us have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. All. But where you reach a level where God we can just use you and manifest in your life, you need Him to sanctify you. Amen. So the will of God is to cleanse you. So no matter how hard you try, if you don't allow God to sanctify you, there may be limitations. There may be what? No matter how hard you try. You say, I will not lie again. <laughs> I will not have a proud look. I will not imagine something wickedly. It will still happen simply because God is not the one sanctifying you. So when I say God sanctifying is not once. Like, oh God, forgive me. No, that's not his sanctification. God has forgiven us. Are we clear? Sanctification is where God now corrects the problem in you. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. He is not for, forgiveness is guaranteed. But the fixing of your nature, it takes God. We are uh, uh, creatures of hereditary. We have inherited from our lineage. We are creatures of exposure. This is how we have been raised. Are we clear? And then we are creatures of culture, where our environment shapes us. So you are those three things. We are creatures of hereditary. We, we have inherited some things. We are creatures of exposure. We have been exposed to some things when we were growing. Are we clear? And then we are creatures of culture, the things around us that has made us to be in a particular way. Are we clear? So the only way to overcome that is so simple. 
is asking God fix me every day. God to do what? To fix you every day. Now, First Corinthians chapter one verse thirty. First Corinthians chapter one verse thirty. First Corinthians chapter one verse thirty. Hallelujah. If you that shout aloud, amen. Bali, kwa ye, nini mepata nini? Aliefanywa kwetu hekima, itokaye kwa na haki. Na? Na nini? It's only through Christ. Uneza pata yu haki, utakatifu na ukombozi. I don't know if you understand. You, you cannot make yourself free. You cannot redeem yourself. You cannot sanctify yourself. <laughs> you understand? You cannot make yourself wise. Oh, you are in a tumia, kutumia yes. So there's a limitation we have. Kuna mambo zimetuzingira. Nazimezume zuzuya. Ni kupitia tu kresi. Aliefanya kwetu ekima. God, Jesus became the wisdom we needed. Amen. He became the righteousness, the sanctification, and the redemption. So we say more kuhuru outside Christ. Are we clear? You you can't say you are free outside Christ. And so I've easy to me say ma kuna vunye to mezaliwa to me kuwa kuna vunye to me pata kuwa kizazi na kuna kitu zenye to mezoya sabi ya masingerazetu. So the only way to overcome you need Christ. Amen. I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. Na mwana lea sasa ndo mwana tutabidi tuwaribu chukua wiki mzima tukio mbatu. Hallelujah. Now, wa Thessalonica, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3 to 4. You know, sometimes I, I used to try to say, I will not do this. And I do it, you understand? So when I was reading last week, I was like, why am I doing these things? What is happening? You understand? I could be, oh my God, I... Ni natumia ile neno najua kujisaidia lakini si tumi siendi kwa Yesu anisaidie. So you may have the word but does not redeem you but if you have Christ it redeems you. Because Christ is the wisdom of that word. I don't know. Siko me like to say ma. Yaani Yesu ndio ekima ya hiyo neno. So unaweza kuwa na neno na uko tu hapo hapo na nadhani uliajeka huru lakini usipopata hiyo Yesu ekima utaendelea tukusema najua ni mbaya lakini nafanya paka upate huyu Yesu ndio hekima ya kusaidie uondoke kwa hiki kitu nasema neno nimesema ifai kufanywa so tunahubiria tunasema neno nimesema isifanye hivi lakini tunafanya kwa nini tunapea tu mtu neno lakini atumwambia ni Kristo anapea hiyo neno hekima ikusaidie usifanye kitu yote sijiko naelewa yani the word of god has no power if christ is not introduced in it the word of god has no power if christ is not at the center of the word Inasema maana hayo ndio mapenzi ya kutakaswa nini? Mwepukane na nini? Aha, tuendele. Verse 4. Kila mmoja ajue kuwea katika atajua aje. Aizi jua basi amesoma neno you can't know if because you read the word utajua kama Kristo ndo anakusaidia unaelewa kitu nasema ndio nitapeleka hapo ndio nasema roho ya utakatifu the sanctification is it okay ajue so nilikuja ah kumbe sijui mimi nimesoma neno najua neno imesema hivi lakini siezi kwa nini siezi sababu Kristo yuko kati yangu na hiyo mambo naongea juu yake. So nimesema kwa neno imeniambia nisidanganye lakini nadanganya tu. Na sijui kwa nini nadanganya. Sababu nimechukua neno lakini sijaleta Kristo kukaribia kwa hiyo neno ni yenye najua. Unaelewa? So tuna vinye tumeokoka tukachukua Kristo ni kama sasa Kristo amekaa kando na tuko na neno hapa. Yeye yeah, anatembea tu kituangalia. Afai kuwa kando yetu. Yeye yeah, ndio sana afai kuwa katikati yetu 
na hiyo neno tunasoma. Unaelewa? Akikuwa katika chetu na hiyo neno tunasoma, sio neno inakuja inampitia yeye na yeye anaitia nguvu kwa maisha yetu. Lakini sisi tumeibadilisha. Ni nene kwa hapa Kristo kwa hapa. Sasa Kristo anaangalia, si tunachukua neno yake. Tunajaribu kukimbia nayo lakini tunachipata tu hatuna nguvu. So you are limited. Sasa Kristo akikuwa kati roho inakuwa. Na nitaelezea inakuwa aje. Haleluya. Amen. Naomba mtaelewa katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Hizi ni vitutu ndogo ndogo nilipata last week sababu so najiuliza maswali nyingi. So nothing can be acceptable or reasonable unless we allow God to sanctify us. Hakuna kitu chochote inaweza kukubalika kwa Mungu ama inaweza kupeana maana kama Mungu hajatukutakasa sisi wenyewe. Unaelewa? So tuache kujitakasa. Tuambie Mungu atusaidie kuji sababu tuna tuna vitu hata mimi mwenyewe niko na vitu zina zinaweza nisimamisha. So nahitaji Yesu anitakase. So hata sasa nikiabudu hapa ama nikuja nitoa sadaka yangu, Mungu hizi chukua hiki tunafanya kama yeye hajanitakasa. So nikikuja tu na neno nimesema tu neno imesema na Yesu mwenyewe hajanitakasa kuna pa, vipengele fulani zinakosa kwa maisha yangu. There are some limitations in my life. You understand? So Christ must sanctify me through through the word that I have received. Not the word to sanctify me without Christ. So neno la Bwana ya Osha tu kama Yesu ndo anamwaga hiyo maji. <laughs> Unaelewa? Mm, kama Yesu na nasugua na hiyo ma? Yeah. So how? Maana tuosha aje kupitia roho ya ya kuosha through the spirit of sanctification. Kupitia roho ya kutakatifu, unaelewa? Now, hii roho, the spirit of sanctification iko kwa kila mtu. Nilikuja gundo iko kwa kila mtu. The spirit of sanctification is present to everyone that is kila mtu hii roho na nimekuja kuondoa hii roho Mungu aliyepatia kila mtu na sikuwa najua ni sasa zingine mtu anakuambia kile yangu imeniambia kitu imeniambia hapana sio kitu ni roho unaelewa ni roho tu na hii roho imekuwa kupaka kwa mtoto mdogo anajua ni ile sasa tufundishi kuivanya ifanye kazi Hatu ikubalishi zingine unaona ah hapana ni sawa tu neno la Bwana amesema amenisamea unasema tunasema haifai kwa hivyo hii roho ikiongea na yeye useme tu neno la Bwana unafaa useme ah huu ni Kristo anaingilia kati ya hii neno nafikiria huu ni Kristo anaingia kati kati ya hii neno nafikiri ndio sana achukua hiyo Kristo sasa ananiongelesha oh mwacha ni mwache Kristo aingie ndani na nisaidie kwa hii neno nafikiria unaelewa like tunasema so inakuja aje inaitwa conscience ni kama unajua inaitwa je conscience kwa Kiswahili Damira Damira ah ya conscience unakwambia ni kama niki nikitoka ndio ipot nimebeba hapa na sijaomba rusa nikutana na Max hapo na naweza ongea na yeye sema ile funny sababu najua nimeichukua bila rau eh so that those are the small things na kuchanganya kidogo unajua inakwambia hapana hapana usifanye hivyo. Unajua ni saa kuondoa, unajua Mungu amekwambia pesa uko nayo, si utoe sadaka. Na useme ah, ni kesho sasa niko na kitu kufanya nayo. Ni kama na kongele shanga. Umeambiwa eh hey, tutoe fungu la kumi, unajua lakini utatoa. Unajua ufai kupiga simu hapo, lakini unapiga tu. Unajua ufai kwenda hapo, lakini unaenda, sijui ni sema aje. Lakini unaenda tu, unasema neno la Bwana itaniosha. Ama Mungu ako na huruma kesho ma, 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 mapenzi yake yako. His mercies are new every morning. Na kuja nikaanza kumunga alikuwa ananiafunulia na niambia hiki tu umekuwa nao tangu kwa mdogo. Nile ukujua tu. Nile sasa zile usipokaribisha hiyo mawazo unakataa Yesu akuje karibu naye. Sijui kwa unaelewa. Neno unajua so neno iko kwa upande wa akili. Hii ma hii roho iko kwa upande mwingine akili. Sasa hii roho inakufanya uone. Hii neno inakufanya ufikirie. Na sasa zingine tunafikiria sana kuliko kuangalia inasema nini inaonaisha nini. So tunajua vizuri sifai kwenda hapo. Sifai kuongea kitu kama hii. Lakini sababu unasema tu ah so Mungu wataelewa. Mungu ataelewa. Ama sijumu unaela inaleta shida. Na Mungu akona nifungulia na niambia angalia vizuri sana. Nimekukaribia sana lakini wewe ndio unikaribishe. Wewe umekaa tu kwa upande ya ne? Chukua hiyo neno na unikaribishe. 
ukichukua neno na unikaribisha utakatifu inapatikana haraka sijui kama umeelewa kitu nimejaribu kueleza hapo unajua alinieleza kama mtoto mdogo mpaka alikuwa anafikiria akaniambia uko na biskuti kwa hapa unajua unafunga unajua nini nafa na ni mimi ndio nilikwambia ufunge so hii biskiti na kwa, kwa kile yako nasema ni biskiti tu moja tu na kisa niwefunga hiyo wakati yote hata biskiti moja ndani kimeza na mate Mungu sana naelewa tu ni sukari inapandisha kwa mwi <laughs> sukari inapandisha kwa mwi lakini hapa roho mtakatifu anakuambia unafaa uti unafaa uti lakini taacha hii ya sauti ya kuti niende kwa hiyo biskiti alafu nisime Mungu ataelewa amesema hiyo umesimama na neno sio mbaya lakini neno haina nguvu sababu janikaribisha mimi. So unafaa unikaribishe kwanza kabla ya anze kuniambia neno. So neno halina nguvu kama Kristo hajaingia ndani ya kutakasa. Nani yako kama mimi ama mimi ndio nilikuwa nafikiria peke yangu. Unaweza nieleze kitu mpaka nikakaa. Okay. Nikasema okay so mimi ninaangalia neno sana. Nataka nembe zingine wacha ujuaji ya kujua neno sana. Angalia kitu nakwambia hiki tu iko ndani yako. Kila mtu anajua iko kwa kila mtu alinema iko kwa kila mtu so utakatifu siwezi kukwambia uishi maisha utakatifu kama sijakuwezesha unaelewa anasema ukose hata kuwa na neno unaweza ishi maisha utakatifu hata ukikosa kuwa na neno unaweza ishi maisha nini sababu niko nawe niko nanyi niko na wewe ah nikasema okay <laughs> hii, hii, hii ni mlima nimepewa eh nikasema sasa nitaanza kujifunza Nikasema nataka kujini nini? Nataka tuweze kujifunza na mimi. Haleluya. Nikasema nataka kujifunza, niache kuangalia kitu neno inasema sana nianze kufikiria kitu Mungu ananiambia kwa kili yangu. Hii ni mbaya na hii ni nzuri. Nasema kwa nanga katikati, ni mbaya ama ni nzuri? Ni hivyo. Hakuna kitu kingine? Sasa kasema sababu tujajifunza sana ndio tunajipata na hizo udhaifu. Tunajipata na hizo usharati ndogo ndogo. Unaelewa? tunajipata na hizi asira tunajipata na hii uongo sababu tujajifunza kukaa kwa hii nzuri ya mamba tumekaa kwa hii neno la Bwana imesema mapenzi yake ni nzuri mpya kila siku asubuhi mumelewa nimejaribu ku explain vile imefunzwa sasa ndio muelewe <laughs> sababu pia mimi najifunza na kwambia maneno ya Ukristo hazikini kwa mbele ya Bwana unaona ni mtoto yani hujui kichote mm? sababu unaweza kwamba Mungu nitakase nitakase lakini anasema acha kuomba fikirie kitu nakwambia. Mm. So hii dhamira yako when your conscience rebukes you it means the spirit of sanctification is present. Unaelewa? Hii dhamira ikikukataza ikwambie ni mabaya ujue hiyo ni roho ya utakatifu kwa ndani yako inafanya kazi sasa hiyo. Ukizimisha haitaongea. Sababu anaambia roho mtakatifu ni mtu. Ukiambia mtu nyamaza sasa atanyamaza saka sema mbao wakimbilia neno waacha dhamira na nimekwambia usifanye hiyo chukua dhamira na chukua neno itakuwa na nguvu ukichukua neno uloniache mimi kando haitakuwa na nguvu sababu so, Mungu amesema katika Yohana 10:10 maneno yangu maneno sorry Yohana 6:63 neno langu ni ni roho my words are spirit and life wow nikakati nikasema nitachukua wiki mbili ya kujifunza right and wrong hiyo tu imagine sijui inakaa kitu simple lakini hiyo kitu sio simple yani ni right and wrong yani naona max we live nikaanza kufikiria vibaya right and wrong it is wrong i should not think like that ni mago bwana na asira he it is wrong ninacha si hiyo niache maneno ati god amebiblia imesema mungu amesema kasirika lakini bwana usiache jua itulie hapana hajasema hivyo wewe acha hiyo maneno yako kana hii <laughs> sijui kama mnanielewa eh ninashaa tu funua kidogo tu ndo tuone vile tutaweza songa mbele pamoja hmm? it's right and either wrong amen second thessalonians chapter 2 verse 13 wa thessalonika wa pili mlango wa pili mstari wa 13 wow eh najifunza na kwambia zingine semanga sijui kristo ba kujifunza tujifunze acha na mama jana ninatembea na vitabu nne kwa kwa, kwa bag na soma hii wiki kwa na vitabu nne kana mwambia kwa nini nimezichagua eh na nimesoma soma nadhani tamaliza by friday eh na mwambia kujifunza au uchoke kujifu kujifunza 
Na paka mama yako ananiambia unasoma sana usifanye wengine kwa karibu naanza kusoma pia. Ndio tujifunze hauwezi fika pale umesema umejua Kristo. Haleluya. Nasema ni lakini imetupasa sisi nini? Siku zote kwa ajili ndugu mliopendwa na bwa kwa kuwa Mungu amewa tangu mpate so asati kwa koka wako nitakusaidia sasa wiki utakatifu alikutagua kitabu wiki kuhamisha utakati ne? katika kutakaswa na mwela na kuiamini imagine so sikulizaliwa hiyo roho ya kutakaswa ilikuwa ndani yako kabla hata uokoke imagine ulikuwa unajua right and wrong au kwate ujui lakini ilikuwa roho inafanya kazi lakini uko unajua sasa hivi mtu alikuja kwa kwako kaza kwambiwa wewe oh, umetenda dhambi kwani before uko unajua nini unafanya ni ile ukikuja kwa kovu fundisha watu kufikiria hii right and wrong sana kuliko tu neno la Bwana ah nikasema baadhi hata mimi ningejua kitu kitambo mimi nimejua ni ajawa tu ni neno la Bwana ananiosha neno la Bwana ananibadilisha lakini Mungu anasema hii roho nimeshana nikitembea naeta ngokuwe mtoto kwani uko unajua Yaani anasema hiyo okovu mlipata kitambo. Sati sahi. Ni ile tu ulikiri baadaye Yesu ni bwa. Hiyo ndio kitu tulikuwa tumebakisha kukiri. Lakini ilikuwa ndani yako inafanya kazi. Ah! Sasa mimi nakuja nikwambia Jojo usifanye ni kama hiyo roho iko ndani yako. Iko. Ni ile tu sikwambii kaa kwa hii right and wrong. Wacha kutumia neno la Bwana kujizingira. Hiyo neno haina nguvu kama Yesu hajakuja katikati yake na hiyo roho ndio inakusaidia kutakaswa. Mnaelewa? Ama mko kwa darasa, mimi pia nilikuwa kwa darasa nikifunzwa hii. Ndio maana niliwaambia hivi, "Ai, yeye nilifunzwa last week." Nikasema, "Wa, mimi hata mimi birthday inakwanga mbaya." Baada ya hapo nilikana nikasema kimunga ni same, mimi nakwanga mbaya sana. Ya? Nina ninakimbia aliniambia acha ujuaje neno, aliniambia acha ujuaje, acha ujuaje neno wewe. Acha kuniambia na mimi najua ni langu inasema ni nataka ukae na huyo mtakatifu huyu roho akutakasa huyu. Huyu anakupea two things, right or wrong. Akupea vitu nyingi. X ama tick. Wacha kusema kwa damu ya Yesu nimetakaswa. Wewe oh, ni moshwa. Ili mesamewa. Wacha. Lakini nilikutakasa kitambo kabla hata uokoke. Sasa hii damu itakuwa jana nguvu kama ukubali huyo roho akutakasa. Wewe naomba mpate ufanuo kufunuo kama mimi pole pole. Mimi pia mimi naona sasa hii eh, utakatifu inakaa ni kitu kubwa sana. Unaelewa? Hii kitu nilikuwa najua ki before ni yenye nilifunya nilifunzo na roho mtakatifu nimejua tofauti kabisa. Petero wa kwanza mlango wa kwanza mstari wa tatu Wewe Sasa asubuhi ndo nikikaa nikifikiria eh nikasema by the way ninajua kwa nini nafanyanga hata makosa nishajua tu Sasa tikitu jeniambia Kabla ufanye kitu unasikia kitu nakwambia hapana ama nani asikia hiyo kitu Eh yeah, unavutana nayo hata si ndio Ananiambia ni roho wa kutakasa na kuongea na wewe Hiyo ni ile damu Yesu alitiririka hiyo roho inakwambia usienda hapo nilisha kuosha usiende huko inaenda kuchafua First Peter chapter 1 verse 3. Yes, wali ni. Haimudiwe nani? Baba wa Yesu Kristo ambaye kwa rehema zake nyingi alituza ili tupate uzima kwa kufufuka nini? Kwake Yesu alishatuza. Na nasema alijua na alikuwa na mpango wako kama kukotumba mama ulikuwa na ngoja kusema kiri Yesu ni ndo maana roho ilikuwa ndani yako kabla so lizaliwa so anasema hata kama tumesema tumeokoka mza kwa umekosa kuzaliwa kuzaliwa yako ya pili inaanza ukijua kukubali uroho wa mtakatifu akwambie ni right na ni wrong hiyo tu sabu anasema kuna wanyatafanya ma vitu nyingi watafanya 
wataponya wagonjwa wafike mbele yake aseme mimi si wajui si ndio so inamaanisha kwani watu kwa wamezaliwa mara mara ya pili eh yeah. wali ilifanyika sababu neno la Bwana ina haki ya kutenda kazi umeelewa neno la Bwana irudi bure lakini hao Mungu atawajua kitu kile nafanya kazi yao ndani kwao ni ilikuwa neno la Bwana lakini sio hao lakini Mungu yeye atakujua nje ya neno atakujua kwa hii route ya utakatifu yenye kwenda kuongelesha Mungu msijue kama mwelekeo tunasema mnaelewa una process yani unaweza kusimama na neno utende miuji lakini akujui kitu inafanyika hapo kazi ni neno lake sio wewe lakini siku yako ikifika atasema mimi sikujui nitaambia bwana na niliponya wagonjwa kwa nini unijui atasema sababu nikikuongelesha hizo wakati wote na hii roho ya kutakasa nilikupa kabla tu uokoke huko umezaliwa mara ya pili ulikuwa tu na mimi lakini ukubali kuzaliwa sasa hii kuzaliwa mara ya pili inamaanisha nini Unafika wakati yenye anakuambia right and wrong is right and wrong. So right ama kesho Mungu utanionea huruma. Na hapo ndo kazi paliko. Hapo unatajua unatafuta ufalme wa Bwana sasa. Hapo. Sio tunataka tutafute ufalme wa Bwana. Hapo ndo tutatafuta ufalme wa Bwana. Hii nyingine neno la Bwana inaweza timiza hata ukose kuwa ama ukwe. Neno la Bwana litatimi lakini wewe huu utajengwa na hii kutakaswa. Eh nikasema wa ninajua sasa kingine kitu nafanyaga. Najua nilijiuliza hii miaka yote. Yaani ndio kitu na sasa inanifungukia kichwa. Yaani right and wrong. Imagine hizo vitu mimi nakwambia tu. Right and wrong. So hata ukose kuomba maombe neno la Bwana itafanya ka. Lakini wewe kufanya Mungu akujue wewe itakuwa kwa hiyo roho ya utakatifu hii inakuzaa mara ya pili hii ndio inakuzaa hii inakupa uokovu sasa unaweza jua neno lakini hujapata uokovu uokovu kukombolewa inamaanisha wewe na baba ni kitu kimoja amen haleluya na mimi mnapata kubarikiwa katika jina la Yesu tuangalie warumi 12 mstari wa kwanza Max la yule ni like me. The Holy Spirit is very interesting. Ngenga. Akaza kuanza kufunza vitu. Paka nikaanza kukuambia le Mungu asubuhi. Ai. Sasa hii nitaanza aje. Akasema hii ni kuamua my friend. Hii ni kuamua tu. Ndio hiyo wokovu ionekane aswa. Sio neno. Neno la Bwana itatimika. Umeka neno mbele yangu. Mimi nataka nikuje mbele ya neno. to exchange. Unaelewa? Ukiweka neno mbele yangu, neno litatimika lakini mimi utanijua. Lakini bali sasa the way you are obedient, nikupe instructions unafuata. Nataka sasa uanze kufuata hii. Nataka uanze kufuata hii. Ufuate hii na roho yako yote. Nasema basi ndugu zangu na wasi kwa kuwa kwa huruma zake, Mungu itoe nini? Iwe iliyo takatifu ya kupendeza Mungu ndio mwili yenu so ibada iko ya maana sababu kuna neno sijui kama umeelewa hapo hebu tusome tena basi ndugu zangu na wasi kwa itoeni nini iwe So your body is, is a sacrifice that is living. So timekufa au fai kujua you are alive. Unaelewa? Takatifu ya kumpendeza ndio nini? So hakuna ibada tunafanyanga hapa kama watu wajifunzi right and wrong. Na ibada ni nyingi tunafanya. Maibada ya kumtukuza Bwana. Ibada ya kutolea Mungu sadaka. <laughs> ibada ya maombi. Sio tunakuwa na hizo ibada zote. Lakini anauliza, ukikuje ibada wewe hii wiki ulifuata right and wrong? Hiyo ndio swali. Na kama ilikuwa wrong, ulifanya hiyo wrong ama ulifanya right? 
Yaani anasema hiyo ndo sasa ndo sacrifice. Hiyo sacrifice sasa hiyo dabiu nitafanya ukikuja maombi inakuwa na nguvu. Sasa nakubali. Sasa inamaanisha yeye lazima akuje kwanza kabla hiyo maneno kitu neno nimesema. Neno inasema tufanye ibada lakini ibada itakuwa kama wewe utajipeda dabiu kwake. Mnaelewa? Jojo nelewa <laughs> ama ama umepata unajua mimi nilikuwa nafunzwa nafunza kitu nilifunzwa eh, hii wiki tu last week baki nikasema eh sasa kingine unakonga na cravings uko na appetite za vitu unataka tu kufanya vitu you know na unajua neno la Bwana venye nasema lakini unaambia Mungu si unaelewa bwana umesema si ni wadhaifu sisi wote ulituzaa kama <laughs> yako sasa sikatai lakini nataka mimi nikuje kwanza sio neno Unijua mimi ukijua neno. Lakini tumejua neno sana alafu tuneka Yesu baadaye. Ukiudesha akikuwa mbele yetu analeta right and wrong. Akishamaweza kutakasa sasa hiyo neno inakuwa na nguvu. Haleluya. Wow. Sasa kwa nini tunahitaji huyu roho wa utakatifu? Alafu kesho nitaanza kufunza mambo tatu tofauti. Kwa nini tunahitaji roho wa utakatifu? Ya kwanza ili Mungu asituache peke yetu. Alisema unaweza kuwa na neno lakini alikuacha. Mmeshi tunasema? Unaweza kuwa na neno lakini alikuwa alikuacha kitambo sana. Unadhani uko na yeye au uko na yeye? Alikuacha, alikuacha kabisa. Na aliendanga. Hai Mungu situache katika jina la Yesu. Tusame, yani asituache. Anaweza kuacha, amesema nitaenda na nitaenda na utajua nimeenda. Usabu umebaki na neno, unadhani niko na yeye. Neno sio mimi. Mimi ndio neno. Mmelewa kinasema? Neno sio yeye. Yeye ndio ne? Sio unaweza baki na neno, yeye alienda. Ukimpata yeye neno inabaki. <laughs> Oi. Mimi ndiko mafunzo kama nyinyi. Warumi moja, 28 hadi 32 tusome. Mbona nimesema nitafunza hii mara hii wiki hii wiki ende yote paka Saturday. Ndio mpate kuona nyenye niliona, unaelewa? Ndio tuoyane vinye tunaweza saidika. Amen. Wow. Kipato wakati sikize hii ujumbe tena. Haleluya. Nasema ni na kama walivyokataa kuwa na nini? Umesikia? Sio na neno, walikataa kuwa na Mungu katika famu za so unaweza kataa kwa na Mungu kwa famu yako famu yako lakini kuna neno nilifanyika Mungu ali aliacha sema anaenda atakuacha hapo msalio wa 29 wamejawa na nini uovu wamejawa na nini na uwaji na fitina na hada watu na nia mbaya wenye unaona ameacha ame, ndio maana anafanya hivyo hizo zote tunafanya sababu tuacha tumeweka neno mbele mbele ya Yesu Yesu na nafaa kuje mbele Yesu akuja mbele na kuambia right and wrong akao kitu kingine anakuambia yeye ni baba kamili wenye nini wenye 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 wasio wati tuendelee eh moja na 32 ambao akijua sana hukumu ya kwamba wanatenda hayo wala si hivyo tu bali wanakubaliana na hao hmm. alienda una dhani uko na uko na Mungu sababu uko na neno alienda na mwangalizo vitu zote sio ukweli tuliyo tunapitia hizo zote na kaniambia sasa mimi usiano wako na wewe ni right and wrong sio kuniambia vinyo neno najua mimi na, neno ni mimi mimi ndio neno we, neno sio mimi yani neno sio yeye yeye ndio neno umeelewa yani Yesu ndio neno neno sio Yesu Christ is the word not the word is Christ 
So you pursue Christ, you get the word. You don't pursue the word, then you get Christ. Ah. Eh, ni lika hivi likasema mimi ni muovu, mimi ni mbaya. Na umeika chini kwa kwanza kuona wewe ni Nikamwambia Mungu yanu liongoje paka leo ndio nianza kuniambia hizo vitu. Kanambia nakusaidia ndio ujue kwa nini una. Sababu unaniuliza maswali. Niko naweza maswali mbona sisi maisha na five five kabisa. Ni nini nitafanya ifiki kama Enoki atatembea na wewe? Ni nini nitafanya? Unaelewa? Nikuwa rafiki yako kama Daudi. Ni nini nafanya nifanye? Unaelewa? Hizo na maswali nilikuwa nauliza. Sababu Mungu aliniambia nini nataka kwa kutaka zao. Na kanambia nataka kutaka wewe kama dhabiu. Nikaanza kusema nitakupea aje mimi. Mimi mwenyewe hata sijui kutembea na nitafika aje. Why? Wacha ianze kumwagika my friend. <laughs> Majibu za nakujanga unatulia. Ya pili. Kama haja kuacha. Ya pili nafanyika tena. Hautapata nguvu ya kutimiza haki. Ama neno la Bwana. You will not receive grace to implement the truth. Sasa hivi unajua neno la Bwana nasema fanya hivi, si ndio? Unapata ni ngumu kufanya. Kwa nini? Hii roho ya utakatifu iko ndani yako. You cannot receive strength to implement the truth. Second Corinthians 13 verse 5 to 7. Kwa nini tuliokoka? Tufuate Yesu so tufuate neno, si ndio? Eh George mimi naitwa Fatu Ombe. Tufuate right and wrong. You know na hii ndio pale kazi iko. Unajua tu unaenda kudanganya. Unajua? Si hata ujui. Nikina kwambi usidanganye kile unasema acha tunidanganye kidogo ah. Ah si itaitaisha tu hiyo maneno. Lakini Mungu anasema unazima roho mtakatifu. Hiyo ni kufuata neno au ni fuate mimi. Second Corinthians chapter 13 verse 5 to 7. Wa Corinthians wa pili mlango wa 13 mstari wa 5 hadi 7. The spirit of sanctification. Naomba tutaichukua mimi na elewe katika jina la Yesu. Nimesema hiyo wiki yote tunakuja tutakuwa tunaomba na tutafunga hiyo wiki yote Mungu atusaidie tuvunje kama kuna kitu ndani yetu vipawa fulani zionoke katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Sisi wote ni waovu. Yeah, sisi wote. Mwizi na mtu ametukana mtu watu wanafuatana. Mnaelewa kinasema? Hakuna mnasema kuna dhambi ndogo mwingine kubwa. Ah. Inasema nini? Jichungu? Ni mfanye nini? <laughs> Ndio muone? Muone kama wenye? Ah, mjujui wenyewe. Kwamba Yesu Kristo yu? Isipokuwa iwe Ako ndani wewe ndio umemkataa. Amekwambia, enda waabudu leo, enda uombe, leo ufunga, enda utoe sadaka. Toa yote kwa nao, patia Mungu. Namwambia Mungu yesitaki. Tendele. Lakini Ah, tuko nini? Kwa nini? Msari wa saba Nasi tunaomba msifanye si kwamba sisi tumekubaliwa, lakini nyinyi mfanye lile lililo jema. Ijapokuwa sisi tu kama Tuko tu kama wengine. Tulikataliwa sababu ya nini? Tulifanya tu vile tunataka kufanya. Utapa, yani Mungu anakuambia usifanye. Unafanya tu. Utakataliwa, utapata nguvu ya kufanya ukweli. Eh hey, Mungu anisamea katika jina la Yesu. Eh, tusamee sisi wote katika jina la Yesu. Eh, mnapata ifunuo sababu mimi ndo nilifunzwa. Yaani George in this Holy Spirit na kuangalia shanga na kupea scriptures hivi. Nilikuwa na kachi na kaza. So, Wa? Mungu anajua neno lake kweli. Ninacho kumwambia na neno lake, nianze kumtafuta huyu Kristo ndio neno iko na nguvu. Nianze kutafuta neno ndio nipate Kristo. Don't look for the word to find Christ. Look for Christ then you find the word. Unaelewa tunasema? Namba ya tatu. Au utaweza kukaa kwa imani. Utakata mambo ya imani ndio maana imani zetu zinatingishwa. Amen. You may not be the things of faith. Sasa 
2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 8. Yasema nini? Na kama vile yani na nini? Walivyopingana na vivyo hivyo na hawa wanapingana na ilile ni watu walio wamekataliwa kwa mambo ya eh. Kila sasa unapinga vitu za imani ujue tu hiyo shida yako. You are fighting right and wrong. There's nothing about that una, una, kuna scripture napigana na hapana. Faith Mwana mungu mga kisema tatendo unasema hizi Ya fighting right and wrong Wow So kwa zia kesho Tutangalia mamba watoto Mwenyambia utakatifi imegawana maratato Ya kwanza ni kwa mwili Iyo ni ito holiness Amen Ya pili ni kwa akili Iyo ni ito a righteousness Na ya tatu kupitia Roho Yetu so amesema unaweza kosa kutenda dhambi ya mwili lakini unatenda dhambi ya akili. Unaweza kosa kutenda dhambi ya mwili na akili lakini unatenda dhambi ya nini? Ya roho. Unaelewa? Sasa si unaona ndio sisi wote tunakana pale tunangangana, si ndio? Kuna pale tunafanya nini? Kuna pale hata mimi kuna pale. Niliona hii nikasema we kuna pale hapa nangangana haki. Eh, yeah. sio kama siko kwa mwili niko kwa roho. Kama siko kwa roho niko kwa akili. Ni wapi nangangana? Mungu nisaidie katika jina la Yesu. Tuangalia wa Korintho wa pili mlangu wa saba. Musari wa kwanza. So is either you are struggling in the body, holiness, in the mind, a righteousness, in the spirit, purity of heart. Unela? Ofanyi yeah. usharati, ofanyi nini nini, lakini zile mawazo konayo. Hey! Hey! Na wanza kwa saa zile mawazo unakuwa mawazo zule Utendi mambo ya mwili lakini Roo yako Hata munga anasema huyo Anataka sisi semu tatu ziguzwe Ama niambia kuna kuacha moja Zote ziguzwe Nasema nini Basi wapenzi wangu Kwa kuwa tuna nini Na tujikatakase nafsi kutoka kwa uchafu wote wa na huku tukitimiza utakatifu katika kumcha Mungu hizo vitu tatu zimeandikwa hapo aniambia ziko hapa nikao sinambi nimwambia sawa nataka nitakasa kanambia siangalie hizi vitu tatu acha kuniambia ni mwili wangu ni safi akili yako iko aje na ndio kinambia mwili wako ni safi akili yako iko roho yako iko aje ai nikasema okay unaambiwa fuata usema sifuati kwa roho Yani ya nakambia hiyo disobedience Is already dis- You're not living in holiness Nani hapa naitaji usi ya dizi kama mimi Ama si mini kopiki angu Ama si nimesema watu kitu hapa Hii ni kufunzo unafunzo Na mina ajua hapa kuna munga na tukupeleka pali kama kanisa Haleluya Ukiona hiyo takatifu nengia sana Kuna pali ya nataka tufiki Amen Tuangalia Isaiah kumina moja na tuombe Azaa 11 Azaa chapter 11 Let us look for Christ to find the word not the word to find Christ Hallelujah Na Yesu alikuwa ndani yako hata kabla mkiri akikwambia usifanye kitu usifanye mambo Wachana na kitu Aenda hapa Wachana na huyu mtu Mubiri mimi nimeguza kitu sifai kuguza. Mungu ataki, sindio? Yeah. Wow. Inasema basi, litoka chikupukizi katika nini? Shina la yese. Natawi. Itaza matunda. Hallelujah. Masari wa pili. Na roo ya bwana. Roo ya buwana, masikia, yu roo ndo kikaji yako Itaanza ni roo ya nini? Dofamu, roo ya nini? Roo ya 
na kumcha Bwana. Alisema uwezi fanya kitu bila roho yangu. Auwezi, auwezi niogopa bila roho yangu. Hata ukijua neno, kama siko hapo katikati utafanya tu. Na unajua uko neno inasema nini. Lakini nikikuwa hapo hiyo roho utaogopa. That's why Samanga that's the fear of the Lord. That's what you call the fear of the Lord. Naomba mbarikiwe. Haleluya. So tusimama tumbe baba tusame tutakase. Tusaidie kukuumsha wewe baba. Tumefanya mambo mengi sana na mwili zetu na akili zetu na roho zetu. Baba naomba msamaha. Naomba roho yako inisaidie kukuumsha wewe baba. Naomba unisaidie baba ni kutembe na wewe. Ninajua nzuri na mbaya. Baba nisaidie nifuate kile kizuri. Kwa mambo yangu yote ndio nikufuate wewe. Nataka nikujue wewe Kristo mbele ya Bwana. Mbele ya neno. So neno mbele yako Kristo. Lord let me know you before the word oh Lord. Know the word before you Jesus. I desire to live a life of sanctification. I sanctified my life in my body, in my spirit, in my mind. Lord, I know I'm limited. Lord, I know I'm limited. Lord, I need you, Lord. Sanctify me from my anger, my temperament, oh Lord. My reactions, my attitude, oh Lord. Oh, how I talk, oh Lord. How I behave. Forgive me for the things I do, oh Lord. I know it is wrong and I've done it oh Lord I ask for mercy. Lord you are the one who sees everything. Lord I have loved what you may not allow me to love. I have walked with what I'm not allowed to walk with. I've been in places where I'm not supposed to be Lord Jesus. I ask for your sanctification. Sanctify me no more to this kind of spirits. No more to that kind of lifestyle oh Lord. I take my freedom I take my freedom. I take the spirit of sanctification today. Lord, I need a fresh start with you. I need a fresh time, O oh Lord. Lord, let me be birthed again. Let me be birthed again in you, O oh Lord. I desire to continue in you, Lord. I desire to live for you, O oh Lord. I desire to live in you, O oh Lord. E kashanda landere bo shokodoba ikalandele sakadiana. Lord, a long time, wicked imagination, a proud look, O oh Lord, have I not shed the blood of innocence, O oh God? Lord God, any spirit of adultery and fornication, Lord, wicked imagination, lying tongue, O oh Lord, exaggeration, O oh God of heaven. Ratisa talabaya kentoloba, hindele moro shindele baraka. Lord God, set me free. Lord, this is your teaching. Give me grace to follow this truth. To follow this truth, it is correct. It is the truth, O oh Lord. Give me the grace to follow this truth. Lord, you are so loving that you have taught us. You are so loving that you have taught us, Lord. There is what you have in plan for us. There is what you have in store for us. Eshantala darama yasotolea. Nembrazin de lebroschete le baragada. Ende le morozonti antala. Oh, Jesus, thank you. Oh, Jesus, thank you. O koshandala la masyan de lebushkos. Igerengala la masun to reba. Lord, I am not tired of asking for your mercy because your truth is coming new every day. Your truth is coming new every day. Lord, I'm not tired. Rambazi anturo bashete rebo santa la dama. Olombrazi de lebrosh koto ban kanta daba. Have I not wronged you, Lord? Have I not wronged your people, Lord Jesus? Have I not wronged the children you have given unto me, Lord? Mercy, Lord. Lord, for your love, have I not sown bad seeds and mercy for mercy? Shenga landa la rodo shondo lo ba ya kandiata. In Brazil, tele rosso kote antala rianda. Slow wash this container of me, Lord. 
Give me new wine skin, oh Lord. Give me new wine skin, oh Jesus. Oh Lord, I want to need the life of holiness. I want to need the life of righteousness. I need to need the life of purity of heart. Oh Jesus, help me. Thank you and thank you, Heavenly Father. E basha de le boro soto va yakadada. Lord, strengthen my consciousness. Strengthen my consciousness. Strengthen my consciousness. Lord. Nisaidie kwa dhamira yangu no nijue kusimama kwa yenye nzuri. Oh Lord. I don't want to say Lord that you don't know me Lord. I want you to know me Jesus. Oh Lord, I want to know you also Jesus. I want to know you Jesus. I want to know you. I want you to know me oh Lord. I want you to know me oh Lord. I want to know you Jesus. I ask for your mercy. Mercy oh Lord. Mercy, Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. Mercy, O Lord. Mercy by the blood. Mercy by the blood of Jesus, O Lord. I take mercy. I take mercy. I ask for mercy by the blood of Jesus. For this church, O Lord. For this altar, O Lord. Mercy by the blood of Jesus. Mercy, O Lord. Mercy, O Lord. Mercy. We have enjoyed goodness because of your faithfulness. Because of your love, we don't take it for granted, Lord. We ask for mercy. We have wrong, oh Lord. We ask for mercy. We have pursued the word before you, Christ. We want to pursue Christ before the word. We want to pursue Christ before the word. Oh, Jesus, thank you. I have bad imaginations, bad character, oh Lord. Oh Lord, I'm struggling with the line times and generation, Lord. Oh Lord, help me, Jesus, oh Lord. Our problem, oh Lord, take me away from it. Everything written in the book of Proverbs 6, 16 to 19. Lord, I don't want it to be found in my life, oh Lord. Because you heard them, oh Lord. Because you heard them, oh Jesus. Because you heard them, oh Lord. Oh Shantala Dabaya Kazantalaba. Oh Jesus. The things I watch, the things I imagine, oh Lord. They're not giving you glory, Lord. The way I talk. Who I talk to about, oh Lord. I need you, Jesus. Lord, thank you, Lord. Lord, we appreciate you. Start thanking him. For Aza kumshukuru kwa mutakasi fitifu wake. Aza kumshukuru kwa kutakasa. Lord, thank you for forgiveness. Thank you for sanctifying me. Thank you for forgiving my double life. Lord, thank you. This year comes to an end with this thing. No more going with it. 2023 will be sanctified. I'll be sanctified. I'll be sanctified. Oh Lord, from today I am a sanctified creature. Spirit of sanctification, walk with me. Oh, Jesus, we give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you for your mercy. We plead the blood of Jesus and we ask for redemption. Let the blood of Jesus speak better things for us today. 
Give us a fresh start with you, Lord. Any power or any authority sitting on our life from the pits of hell that does not glorify your name comes to an end today in the name of Jesus. As we go meditating upon your word, we shall develop our conscience. In the name of Jesus, we shall do what is right from today. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. My day will be a good day. Lord, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to Lord, my day shall be progressive. Oh, Shantai Lada Bayazanda. Baba Itakwana Sikonzori. Lord, I shall have a beautiful day. Lord, we give you praise and honor. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen, amen. Now, I'm going to talk about the name of the Bona. Now, I'm going to talk about the name of the Bona. Na munga wapi nguvu ya kusimama na kwa hile nzuri katika jina la Yesu. Naomba mbarikiwe, muongozwe katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumomba na kwa mini. Amen. So